Hello guys, welcome back. So since the last episode, we have actually stayed unbeaten, although it has only been three matches since. So after the Inter Milan game, it was Torino up next, and it was one of our best results of the season, a 4-0 win away from home. Pier and Tony, Marquez, Amasucci, and Marco De Greco with his first goal of the season off the bench. A really good victory away to a decent team. Then, unfortunately, we did follow that up with a 1-1 draw at home to Cagliari. Not the best result, this one, because they are right bottom of the table, Cagliari. I think they're 20th. And it should have really been a comfortable victory. But we actually went behind, and we managed to salvage a point in the second half. We looked for the winner, but couldn't find it. Really disappointing not to win this one. And most recently, a 1-1 draw at home to Atalanta. A decent result this one. Marquez gave us the lead in the first half. Ravella equalised with 10 to go to deny us the points. So that has left us ninth in the table now. We're looking good for that top half finish that I talked about. 10 points clear of 11th place with 8 matches to go. I'm really happy with how we've done this season. Especially considering that really rocky spell in the middle where I thought we were going to get dragged into the relegation battle. But thankfully we found form and pulled away from that and put ourselves into a comfortable position now. Amasucci is still top scorer in the league with 24. Pier and Tony's actually got the most assists in the league with 12. Really nice to see our players doing well on those statistics. We have also had youth intake day, and it's probably our best one so far. I'll just find them now. So we have Federico Magani, He's an Italian, so not much use to the national team, but three stars potential for the club. Gerardo Capaldo, another Italian. This time a right back. Not amazing potential, but it's got some decent attributes for a young player. Now, I'm going to skip over this one for a second, because this is the biggest prospect from the intake. I'll show you Nicola Semprini first. Pressing forward. Not the best finisher. Three stars potential, so we signed him up. Hopefully he can develop a lot. Marco Forcella, in another Italian, right back. Potentially three and a half stars of potential, if he develops. Got Alessandro Rosti, is a Samaranese forward. Don't think he's ever going to make it really. But there was some things I like, like the 14 heading and the 10 off the ball. I just wanted to sign all the Samaranese players that came in, really. Patricio Lonadoni. This is another winger slash right back. Italian. Four stars potential, though. So one that could make it here. Christian De Angelis is a Samaranese ball winning midfielder. I think he's got some decent attributes, but only two stars potential annoyingly. Corrado Pinelli, an Italian left wing back. Emiliano Moro, Samaranese attacking midfielder slash wide player. We don't seem to develop too many good wide players, so I still wanted to sign him. He's got some Decent attributes like the 11 dribbling, 12 pace. Not the most potential, but hopefully he can develop a little bit and be a useful player for the national team. Luca Brescia, an Italian midfielder. Three stars of potential, some nice attributes, but not sure he'll ever make it. Gabriel Fantini, Samaranese, attacking midfielder, similar to the Moro that we just saw. 11 dribbling, 16 teamwork, which is nice, 11 off the ball, 11 flair, but again, only two stars of potential. And then I think we're on to the players that were already here, the 16 and 17 year olds. So, I've delayed it enough, this is our best prospect, Claudio Volpinari, one star current ability, four star potential. The best prospect we've had come through in the South so far. 
He's an inside forward, I think, or an inverted winger. Really nice attributes, I think. I think he'll get into the national team straight away. 11 dribbling, 12 first touch, 14 passing for a 15-year-old. 11 technique, 12 flair, 11 off the ball. Not too slow either, 11 pace and 11 acceleration, good balance. I'm really hoping he can develop and be a key player for the national team for the next few years. Probably not the best San Marinese player that's come through in the save so far, but definitely the best one that's come through at our club. So it's promising to see the investment that we're putting into this youth academy paying off now. But the reason we have come back today though is for these international matches, the European qualifiers against Greece and Andorra. I'm not holding out much hope for the first game. We have also played a friendly before these, a really good 4-1 win against Malta, Nicola Nani with the brace, Rizzi and Giorgetti with the goals, Giorgetti's first goal for the country. Malta ranked a good 20 yard places above us, so a good win to get that one, should help us get some ranking points. So we're taking on Greece first. And I'm actually going to make a bit of a gamble here and play our second choice players in every position. I'm going to take the defeat in this first match, or this likely defeat I should say, and then really go for it against Andorra with fresher players, because that is the winnable match if we're being realistic. Might be a bit open here going with the 4-2-3-1 against a good Greece side, I'll just have a look, they're ranked. 52nd in the world. Have a look at the, some of their players. Vlakadimos, I recognise, good goalkeeper. Mavropanos, the old Arsenal defender. Simikas at left back. Solis on the wing was a bit of a wonder kid before. He's at Real Madrid on this save. On £125,000 a week. That's the sort of player he's going to be up against in this game. Their striker's not bad either, playing for final, valued at 49 million. So yeah, I think whatever we do in this game, it's an uphill struggle. So we're just going to go for it. As you can see, 10 changes from the last match where we went full strength against Malta. So we've got nothing to lose. Try and get a bit of faith in the team, a bit of motivation. Four minutes in, we've got the free kick. Back post. It's going to probably be a counter attack, isn't it? Donis comes away with it. It was too good for us to be having a highlight. Darnis down this wing, crosses, back post, Solis is free. Fortunately he's gone wide. Seca back to Solis. What a finish that is in the top corner. First goal's taken all of five minutes. It's going to be a long match this one. All eyes are really on the second fixture. Just got to try and not get beat too badly in this one, hopefully with our second string. In fact, I'm just going to waste time because why not? We've got possession though in this whole lot. Will we give it away? We've still got it. Zanotti to Casade. Playing an unfamiliar position for him, but haven't got anyone else. Back to Vlakodimos now. He will go long. It's gone straight past our defence. Darnis chips the keeper and chips the goal as well, fortunately. I don't know what Giardi on a yellow card after four minutes. I'm going to tell him. We've already told him to stay on feet, that's alright then. I've had two shots. Probably better than I was expecting. Three now, one on target that we haven't seen. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Free kick. Liverdini nearly giving away a penalty there, I thought. Donis with the cross. 
decent stop and block. Good defensive work there to keep it out. And after half an hour, it's only 1 0. As we approach half time now, and we get in at 1 0 down, not too bad at all. Let's say we're unlucky. Has taken a great goal to score past us in that first half. Of course, they're dominating these stats with shots and shots on target. But it's what you'd expect. Federico Berardi now. Through ball. Giorgetti. Giorgetti equalises. Six minutes into the second half. Really nice build at play. Free kick. Berardi dribbles inside really nicely. And then picks a great through ball. Splitting the defence. Giorgetti. Takes it up close to the goalkeeper and fires it in. And you know, this has been a really good performance from us. Five shots, three on target. Definitely more than I was expecting from a heavily rotated team. Corner to them now with Solis. Everyone's missed it and it's blocked on the line. We just about keep it out. Header, oh good save Benedettina, back in, we're clinging on in there, well, I do want to make some changes when this highlight ends, but it's still going on. Alexandropoulos now to Janoulis, former Norwich player, Donis, Zeka, the whole lot continues, Haziakis, great save Benedettina. Benedettini has had an amazing game so far and now we've got this throw in, I'm going to bring some subs on We do actually have a bit of a chance in this game now with 25 minutes left so I'm going to risk some players that I didn't particularly want to Andrini for Gaudi and Andrea Tosi can come on at the back for Liverdini who was making his debut I believe And the final sub, Filippo Berardi out on the wing. Some fresh legs to try and help us in this one. They've got a throw in, Alexandropoulos. Strange ball all the way back into his own half. Nicolo brings it forward. Three ball in behind, Masuras. What a save from Benedettini again. This is the, probably the best match I've ever seen him play. Zolis with the corner. And we defend heroically again. Donis now attacking this side of the penalty area. Low cross. Oh, we get away with it again. How have, we not, how have they not scored there? Goes right across the goal. The keeper actually misses it this time. And we get a block in. This is relentless pressure from Greece. As you'd expect. The embarrassment for them for not to not win this game if they don't. The embarrassment to not even be winning by like three or four goals. Solis with the corner. Oh, it's a penalty. It's our usual trick. As I noticed, Belgium have gone 10-0 up against Andorra. Chakamakis. Oh, Benedettini guesses the right way but can't keep it out. And unfortunately we have gone behind with just over 10 minutes to go. It's been heroic defensively. But we are finally behind. Now free kick Masuras. Benedettini, I'm not sure if that was him or the post, but we get it away. The team are looking a bit disheartened now. They shouldn't be, they've put in a great effort this game. Solis with the corner. Biordi gets it away. Kasadi's not having the best game in an unfamiliar position. Just injury time to go now. As Andorra go 12-0 down in their game. Should mean we don't go bottom of the group. 
about half a minute to go. Can we do something? No, Kasadi's lost it. Ball round the corner and they win it. Solis. Jakumikis. Blocked. And that's full time. It's a loss, but a heroic performance, I think. The XG of the, then 4.05, I know it included a penalty, but Benedettini had an amazing game. We were the underdogs out there and you gave it your best effort. Good effort, lads. So, Andorra lost 14-0 in the end. Hopefully that is a winnable one then. Right, it's time to take on Andorra now in this big European qualifier. Team-wise, I have fully rotated it again back to what it was for the Malta game. Except, Benedettini is going to keep his place in goal. Star rating-wise, he is actually better than Colombo, but that is one of the first times I've seen him prove it. I do feel a bit bad about rotating some of these players out who had good games, like Giorgetti, but we can't be leaving Nicola and Annie out as the country's top scorer. Right, let's get into it. We could do with a win. So even the assistant manager is saying this is a match we should be winning and make sure we do. Tell everyone to have faith in them. A win here will do wonders for our rankings. They've got an early free kick though. Fabry gets it away. Bahan's going to collect it now down this side. Horn's rocker. Early ball into the box. Aguilar. Fires it past Benedettini. Really bad start to this one. We're going to need to come from behind. We start so slow sometimes. We have now taken control of the match. But we've given ourselves work to do. We have mixed form against Andorra. We've, I think we've won one, drawn one, lost one. Rizzi coming forward now down this left side. He's now learnt the position, which is good. Musioli, Filippo Verardi, fires it in and we have an equaliser. Thankfully we weren't behind for too long. Rizzi finds a pass back into uh, Baldacci. Andrini, Musioli plans the playmaker. Verardi makes a nice little bit of movement and a really good finish. They do now have a corner though, we've got to defend it. Oh, we've given away another penalty. Every international match it seems like. We'd just rather push people over than defend a corner it seems like. Vasancelos now, fires it in. We're behind again. We were level for all of three minutes. not going to plan this one so far so we approach half time we haven't seen another highlight just the one from us okay now we have got a corner Berardi near post Nani off the bar need those to go in another corner now on the other side Berardi Nani gets his head on it again but goes over the bar And that is half time and unfortunately we're losing. They have only had two on target but they've both ended up in the back of the net. Right, I'm going to get fully aggressive with the team here. Not good enough. Get your acts together. Got half a game to salvage this. I really wanted to win this one.
First hole out of the second half. Rusty with a free kick. Berardi finds Nani. Balling behind to Rizzi. Rizzi into the penalty area. Back to Tosa. Tosa with an early ball. Nani. That's just a speculative header from nearly the edge of the penalty area. Free kick now. Berardi is too far out, surely. Yeah, comfortable enough for Afonso to deal with. Berardi's trying his best to drag us back into the game. Corner's been dealt with. Hopefully not a counter-attack on the cards here. A whole lot continues. We've had so much of the chances, but nothing doing for us so far. Part of me is actually tempted just to go route one or something. I'm going to show some patience, so I'm going to stick with what we're doing. We're playing well, we just can't find the back of the net. Andrini is tired, going to bring on Guidi for him. Berardi is really tired as well, Federico can come on. Just go with that for now. We'll go attacking as well. Come on lads, we've got to get something. Five to go. Can't believe we're going to lose this one. Rizzi's had a shocker out there. Don't really have the options though. Get Giorgetti on. Can't play that number 10. Five to go. We've got five minutes of injury time. We've got a throw in now. Berardi. Tosi. Giorgetti. Back post. Comes out to Tosi. Guide. From range. Speculative and it goes over. I think we're out of ideas. One minute to go. We've got a final highlight. Lamas goes long, Tosi collects, can we create one final chance, Berardi in behind, Rizzi, can he find a teammate, Gaudi again, oh, off the underside of the bar and it's away, that's free kick to them, Aguilar, is the one final counter attack, Rizzi, can he find a pass, finds the ball to Nicola Nani, Nicola Nani through on goal, Nani, Oh, he takes it around the keeper and then still falls it straight at him. It's not our day. How on earth have we lost this? Rizzi into the penalty area now and falls it over. He was offside though. And when we see the stats at the end of this, I have no idea how we've lost. An early goal and a penalty. And we've missed so many chances. Six shots to 32, two on target to 14, 1.46 xg to 3.23. This is like the most frustrating loss I've had in the South so far, I think. I'm not telling them I'm proud of it. I'm embarrassed. No surprise that that has left us rock bottom now. We've lost to a team that lost 14 nil in the last match. I was so sure we were going to get something out of that. We remain 197th in the world rankings. It's the sort of match that we need to be winning to get moving anywhere in this save. So disappointing, especially after the optimism of the Greece performance. It doesn't get any easier. We've got Kosovo and Belgium as our next Euro qualifiers. We do have, still have to face Andorra at home, so all's not lost in the group in terms of avoiding finishing bottom, but yeah, really disappointing start to this group. Right, sorry the episode didn't go to plan. I was sure we'd make a better game of it against Andorra. Hopefully you've still enjoyed the episode though and you are enjoying the save. 
please do like and subscribe if you are. In terms of when I'll next be back, considering the season is looking pretty much like it's going to be a mid-table finish, somewhere between 10th and 8th, you'd say. We probably only need to do one more update by the end of the season, I think. Look at what we've got coming up. Bologna, Brescia, Hellas Verona, Genoa, Roma, Milan, Fiorentina, Juve. So I might even go all the way to the end of the season now, considering we're going to be finishing with not a lot to play for. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ah, oh, still gutted about that result.